Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have an exciting night out to Cirque du Soleil next week. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend the premiere of Totem at the Royal Albert Hall on Wednesday. The event will be in aid of Harry's charity St. Ball, which works to help children affected by HIV in Lesotho and Botswana. Harry founded the charity with Prince Ciso in 2006 after spending his gap year in Lesotho in 2004. The evening is the second in a series of fundraising events for St. Ball, after Meghan and Harry attended a charity performance of Hamilton at Victoria Palace Theatre last August. Kensington Palace said on Twitter, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend the premiere of At Cirque du Soleil's Totem in support of At St. Ball, at the At Royal Albert Hall on Wednesday 16 January. The evening will raise awareness and funds for St. Ball's work with children and young people affected by HIV. Meghan and Harry are not the first royals to attend Cirque du Soleil's shows. The Duchess of Cambridge celebrated her 31st birthday with a trip to Cirque du Soleil joined by a group of friends and family including Prince William and her brother James Middleton. With her Cirque du Soleil evening out and a string of engagements planned for next week, pregnant Meghan is showing no signs of slowing down. On Monday, Meghan and Harry will visit Birkenhead for their first joint engagement of 2019. Royal fans will be looking forward to seeing the pair out together for the first time since Christmas Day. And Meghan will visit Animal Charity Mayhew, one of her four royal royal patronages, on Wednesday. In addition to Mayhew, the U.S.-born former actress will become patron of the National Theatre. The Association of Commonwealth Universities and Women's Charity Smart Works, which Meghan visited earlier this week. The charities, which work to promote the arts, access to education, support for women and animal welfare, were chosen to reflect causes Meghan has previously been associated with. Meghan will complete visits to all her patronages in the coming weeks.